high. Well, I thought my cough was getting better. Bye, guys. It is a lovely Sunday evening here in the end times. And, uh, the collapse of everything at Bugs in a Jar Farm. It is Sunday night, August 13th, 2023. And, uh, I have, uh, had a lot of <coughs> spare time on my hands the last few days. And, and just, guys, I'm just trying to think what, uh, what I want to do with this channel. Uh, there's going to be some floundering uh, uh, around a bit. Uh, I am not... Uh, it, 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 I, I'm, I'm not happy with what Collapse Chronicles has turned into. It's growing, it's growing very well. I mean, the, I'm very happy with my numbers and all the rest of it. <coughs> this, it, it you know... <clears throat> that's not, I am not thinking uh, of changes to make to this channel uh, to improve my numbers. I don't, you know, on one level, guys, I don't care about my numbers. Uh, so anyway, uh, I'm trying to decide where to go with this channel, knowing full well uh, if, if I step off a format that's that's been growing steadily all year that I am uh, probably getting ready to uh, <clears throat> stab myself in my own back. So I guess at any point I can change my mind, go back to, to reading uh, whatever doom and gloom day after day, week after week, month after month. Uh, I, I mean, don't expect me to ever go back to, uh, to interviewing. It probably is not going to happen, uh, the interviews. And so, with the interviews, which I know is what people, uh, you know, want to hear, they're not going to happen. Okay, it's harder for me to admit that to myself and to yours. So I, I'm I'm pretty much left with with scrolling through the mainstream media, the the lefty media, uh, and of course uh, Medium.com, and and uh, just uh, day after day sitting here reading out uh, something that you can go on and, and read yourself. Now I might be what I might be doing is. It is just doing like a, a quick, you know, scroll down, uh, just articles that, that just appeal to me, that just pop out and, and appeal to me. There might be some of that, but probably these 30 minute long droning videos, um, about some doom and gloom anyway. But before I make that change, I, I've got to say, uh, <clears throat> I was just uh, cussing this uh, this uh, outfit that keeps showing up in my feed on Yahoo News called <coughs> the Cool Down. The Cool Down is uh, is one of the most apocalyptic, hopium filled, just uh, odious pieces. Uh, uh, of garbage to offend any doomer. It, it, you know, they're, they're looking for the, you know, the little lefty uh, mainstream uh, environmentalist is their target. And obviously they haven't hit their target with me. I, I don't know who they think they're talking to. They're not talking to me. But I have to admit, guys, the cool down has come up <laughs> right the, the, the very day I was cursing them for their hopium. The cool down has come up with the single greatest Collapse Chronicles headline I have ever encountered in my entire life, hands down. Uh, I, I could not have uh, tailor-made a, uh, a, a better headline than this one. Take it away. The cool down. Tourists contribute to collapsing of iconic, gravity-defying tree of life. Quote, 
enjoy it as long as you can. <laughs> it, 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 this, you know, this little article here, it, 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 this, this could be the single best metaphor uh, of everything uh, that I, I have, uh, th that I have been saying on this channel and elsewhere uh, in my life for the last 15 years. That this unintentionally, hilariously dark, ironic metaphor that is nowhere in the reporter or editor's brains. Completely unaware uh, of the metaphor, of course, for the collapse of global industrial civilization. You know, if something is collapsing, if it's collapsing all around you, but you still have you still have a chance to enjoy it before it's gone, what else can you do? Enjoy it for as long as you can. Anyway, what is this all about? The tree of life. The most widely known tree in Washington State's Olympic National Park is slowly collapsing, and thoughtless hikers may be bringing it down faster. <clears throat> According to Uprooted Traveler, the Tree of Life, an ancient Sitka spruce, stands near the coast of the Pacific Ocean on Kalach Beach in Forks, Washington. <coughs> A stream flowing past the tree to the ocean has slowly worn away the soil beneath it, so now it straddles two cliffs, its roots hanging in the open air to form the roof of a cave large enough for a person to stand in. Well, guess what? Adventure explains that people do stand in it, but they also climb all over it. And that is the problem. People hanging and walking on the exposed roots puts a lot of weight on the tree, which is just barely being held up now by the small portion of its roots still buried in the cliffs. The tree will likely fall one day regardless but unthinking visitors may be speeding up that process. Thankfully for the surrounding environment, the Tree of Life is just one of many Sitka spruces in the area. <coughs> and this, this, is, this is one of the all-time great... <coughs> this is... If ever the cool-down had a sentence to uh, illustrate what the cool-down is about... Okay. What do you think is the most significant effect of the Tree of Life's collapse? The most significant fact, uh, effect of the Tree of Life's collapse will simply be that people, that people no longer get to enjoy this incredible and inspiring sight. However, it does shine a light on the careless ways. It does shine a light, you know, Diogenes with his with his lantern. Diogenes with his lantern, shining his light. <clears throat> it does shine a light on the careless ways some people interact with nature. As I am not making the name of this publication up, guys. I, I, you can't. This 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 article is is so great. As Sustainable Travel International points out, Andy the Gardener, would you please give us a a wrap on a company calling itself Sustainable Travel International? As Sustainable Travel International points out, going off trails, disturbing soil and wildlife, 
leaving trash and other harmful interactions, for example, international travel, can cause real damage to natural environments. And that damage builds up over time. Some parks and nature preserves take steps to prevent this by marking trails, fencing off attractions, or even, or even facing supports for trees and plants. But Lissy Andros, director of the local Forks Chamber of Commerce, told Fox Weather that that was not an appropriate solution in this case because it would eliminate what makes the tree special. The way it clings on despite the odds. This is quoting uh, uh, Lissy Andros <clears throat> from the Forks Chamber of Commerce. Quote, We're asked why doesn't somebody go in there and help the tree? Why don't they put braces on the tree or try and fill the tree? And I say, well, if those things were done, it would not really be what it is now, which is a very resilient anomaly in nature. Mm. <clears throat> so I think that is exactly what it is supposed to be at this moment. And we need to appreciate it and enjoy it as long as we can. <laughs> there you go. The, uh, <laughs> the, the, the uh, head of the Chamber of Commerce for Forks, Washington. Forks, Washington is one of the most right-wing, planet-eating, uh, logging towns, you, you, you know, they, 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 they probably serve fried spotted owl uh, at the local truck stop. Uh, you know, the most intelligent uh, comment uh, that I might have ever heard uh, in, in all the years on this channel uh, from the press <laughs> uh, of the Forks uh, Chamber of Commerce. Guys, this shit show is coming down just like the tree of life. The tree of life is barely, barely hanging on. Okay? It is barely hanging on by its roots, guys. So we can keep trying to prop it up for one day longer or just get out there and enjoy the tree of life for as long as you can before it comes crashing down cause it is gonna suck. Uh, Jesus. I, I, I could not, uh, I could not have scripted. Uh, that, that was, uh, it, 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 and coming from the cool down, the greatest unintentional uh, irony. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, get out there and enjoy it as long, which is another way, I guess, of saying while you still can. Bye, guys. <laughs>